This is primarily directed to the next generation of scientists. And this afternoon, I'm going to show you some examples of interesting phenomenon with chemicals and materials. And we have our sponsor, Monsanto Fund. What I want to do is show you that this solid ultimately becomes a gas. Keep your eye on that and eventually you'll see that balloon get larger and larger and hopefully it won't explode. But keep your eye on it. And you see that growing and growing and growing and growing? That liquid immediately converting into a solid. Now what we have here is a supersaturated solution of sodium acetate and I put a little crystal of sodium acetate as a solid. That was what was in that vial and that causes the spontaneous crystallization of that solution. I'm going to show you a chemical reaction now. These solutions contain aqueous sodium hydroxide. And in adding carbon dioxide through dry ice, I'm converting the sodium hydroxide to an acidic solution. And by making it more acidic, it turns green from that nice blue. This one is turning nearly colorless now, as you can see. This one is beginning to turn. This one is becoming lighter in color, but watch this. I can turn it back by adding more sodium hydroxide. Isn't chemistry fun? If you think it's fun, clap. Thank you. Now you're, you're scientists also. We have uh, a white powder at the bottom of the thing. It's getting hot. It's getting hot, he says. Yeah, is, there, is it getting hot? Can you hold it any further? I can, I can hold it a little bit, but it's, like, it's... It's really getting hot? What about yours? It's cold. This one's cold? Yeah. Can you believe that? Let's change. Here, you try that one. You try this one. That is cold. It, it, it's like the North Pole. It's like the North Pole, exactly. It is like the and this sun. one is hot. And I'll bet you've both experienced that. Have you ever experienced a candle that's on fire? Yeah, yeah it's hot. Yeah. But sometimes a chemical reaction actually makes something that's cold. And understanding that is what some scientists have been able to do. So thanks for your help. You can return to your seat. Let me share with you what we have that is really cold. This is liquefied nitrogen. I've been talking for quite a bit. I'm a little thirsty now. A little refreshment. Would, would you like to try? You'll try? My, that's a refreshing drink. But I do not recommend that to you. I uh, would like to show you what we can do with the liquid nitrogen. Rubber tubing. And I'm going to make a nail. I've made several nails. Let's see how this works. I have here these beautiful flowers. So if you ever want to know how to make confetti, that's what we have here. 